The first segment is an IMG radio style scoreboard update, while the second segment is a sports talk show hosting segment. My name is Sam Dostler, and welcome inside the UConn IMG Studios with your score at the half, number 11, Louisville 30, and number 19, UConn 18. DeAndre Daniels leading the way for the Huskies at the break with eight points and five rebounds. Right now we're going to take a look at what else is going on in the American Conference. One other game in progress. It's number 18, SMU, leading on the road, 30-26 to over number 20, Memphis. Second half just underway. Nick Moore tallied 10 first-half points for the Mustangs to lead all scorers, while Joe Jackson led Memphis with eight. Two other conference games still to come. Temple will travel to South Florida at 4 p.m., and Rutgers will entertain number 15 Cincinnati. That tip slated for 6 p.m. UConn trailing the defending national champions Louisville 30-18 to at the break. We'll be back with a look at what else is happening today in the top 25, but first, a word from Geico. Sam Dostler welcoming you back inside the UConn IMG Studios with Louisville, leading UConn 30-18 to after 20 minutes of action. Time to check the top 25 scoreboard. Number one, Florida, earns their 23rd straight victory, 84-65 to over number 25, Kentucky. Patrick Young led the Gators with a double-double, 15 points and 12 rebounds. Second-ranked Wichita State moved on to the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game after a 67-42 triumph over Missouri State. Shockers, now 33-0. Still to come this afternoon at 4, Indiana heads to Ann Arbor to play 12th-ranked Michigan, and number 13, Creighton, plays host to Providence. At 9 p.m., the greatest rivalry in college basketball is renewed. Number 14, North Carolina travels down the road to Cameron Indoor Stadium to play number 4, Duke. Tar Heels looking to complete the season sweep with a victory. Top 25 slate rounds out on the West Coast at 10 p.m. with an Oregon team looking for a statement win at home over number 3, Arizona. We're now going to send it back out to the KFC Yum Center where Jody Ambrosio and Wayne Norman, they will have the call of the second half. It's Louisville 30, UConn 18. You're listening to the UConn IMG Sports Network. Back inside the hall, Sam Dostler, Dave Scott with you on this Wednesday evening. And, you know, March right around the corner, Dave. Spring training underway. We got some baseball news to kick off the top of the hour. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, they have signed outfielder Mike Trout to a one-year, $1 million contract. You might wonder, what? Like, this is one of the great young players in the game. He's 22. Let's Let's sign him for a long time. But a smart move on the part of the Angels. By signing Trout to a 2014 salary now, they can begin negotiations for a long-term deal in 2015, and then this enables the Angels to avoid the luxury tax assessment this season. And just just a great move. And this is after a guy who is really one of the stars of baseball, is becoming the face of baseball, in my opinion. Last year he made $510,000. So, I mean, this is a pay raise for him. He's getting a yeah. million dollars. And, and he, st- he still lives with his parents. He's, yeah, when he goes home in the offseason, he lives with his parents out here on the East Coast. And, you know, what? I, I think it's a great move. I think what you're, you're starting to see teams be smarter with, with, their, with their money. You haven't seen teams necessarily throw around the big bucks like we've seen in the past. Uh, like like Albert Pujols got the big deal from the Angels, yeah. and that might not that's starting to look like it might not be such a great signing. The length of the contract. Well, what was the deal with? Now I know Prince Fielder was traded. So what happens with his contract then? It's the same contract. It just gets flipped over, and Texas takes on that contract. But you, you look at the other team in Los Angeles, the Dodgers. I, I think a great deal when when they signed Clayton Kershaw to his seven year extension. Yes, big big box, but it, it's at the point where he's twenty five. There, there's an opt out after five years or so, and it, it's teams are starting to learn, I think, how to still give the big dollars, mm-hmm. but at the same time, more appropriately, yes, more appropriately, and give it at the right time. Because you look at a guy like I just Albert Pujols, mm-hmm. he got this contract already in his thirties. Exactly, Robinson Cano, same thing. Alex Rodriguez, we're we're seeing how that's all playing out. Not very well for the Yankees. So, I think teams definitely starting to to realize that. They can give out the big dollar amounts, but they just have to be smarter about when they do it. 